Not Jonathan Brab, what a Barnsley chap And he liked to paint a veil That's why his nose were all as red And his cheeks were all as pale And if that stopped him on the street To pass the time of day Back in time in Barnsley this evening. Barnsley legend Dave Cherry has been collecting cine films from the town's history and tonight he'll be showing some of them at St Mary's Church. Our reporter Dan Green went to his home for a sneak preview. So we're watching beautiful red Yorkshire traction buses coming into Barnsley bus station in 1955. It's 16 millimetre film that's all been digitised and it's part of this film that you can see tonight. And the man behind it is songwriter, musician, newspaper columnist, novelist and now filmmaker Dave Cherry. Uh, so you, you've done all this work? Oh yes, Dan, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, mind-boggling. Oh. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a lot of it is stuff that, that that's been sent to you by people and that you've managed to pilfer from various different places. Oh yes, it's all um, being sent to private people. They come with the weddings from 1950s and 1960s. You know, the antique Gladys's wedding, and the films are so expensive. They were. Four pound for four minutes in 1950, which ooh, four pound relates to you're looking about about 300 quid down. So, what they would do when the wedding were done, they'd use the film up, they'd film something, um, you know, I, I don't know, Barnsley Town Hall or Barnsley Market, which is more important than the wedding to me because it shows you the old places, it's the social history of the places, you know. We just actually look in there at Mayday Green Market and we've just seen Albert Hurst with his famous uh, pies, you know, and and, uh, and that was Dorothy Hyman, uh, the, the Olympic sprinter uh, from Cuddeth, uh, well-known girl, and again we're back in Barnsley Market here, look, mm -hmm. all in wonderful colour, you know, it's absolutely fabulous, isn't it, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, uh, an old tracky bus going past, Yorkshire traction bus. What picture do you think it paints of Barnsley in the in the fifties and sixties? Well, it was an old market town, vibrant. In my opinion, it was far better in them days. This is a view from the people. That's the miners going down Barnsley in in nineteen. Um, 56, that. And so, that, that's mm. the beauty of it, isn't it? Mm. That it that it is shot by ordinary, ordinary people, people, most of it. It's shot by ordinary people, for ordinary people. And that's know. why, I mean, bits of it are a bit wobbly and a, a bit yeah. out of focus, aren't they? Yeah. But, but yeah. there's something very nice about that. Yeah, it? it's grainy and it flickers. That's that's called the stroboscopic effect, which I tell you, that's, you know, that's a, that's a technical term for it flashing. <laughs> What's the reaction of people when they, when they see this? Oh, they're shocked. Dan, it shocks them. It really does. There's tears in the eyes. They do. The soul, it brings back nostalgia. And your world famous stair foot roundabout <laughs> song makes an appearance as well. Oh, well, I, that's what they always ask for, Dan. <laughs> It'll be on my grave. <laughs> he layeth Dave Cherry stair foot roundabout. <laughs> you know, that's what they always want. And the lovely thing is, you've set it to some footage of stair foot roundabout, or indeed of stair foot before the roundabout. Well, long before the roundabout. This is 1960 stair foot. <laughs> it is incredible footage, this. Yeah, yeah, it's all railway bridges in. Here we go. I'd like to get me hands upon that fart That thumped up that stair foot round of art I'm always going on beats of red, them green and bust a fuse That bus lane's full of tangleweed, it's never chuffing used So I'd love to go and sort that plonker out That dreamt up that stair foot round of art <laughs> <laughs> and the one and only Barnsley legend, Dave Cherry, talking to our reporter, Dan Green. On free BBC Radio Sheffield, what fun and games we're going to have now. There's a chance to see some films about Barnsley's history tonight, and Dave Cherry has been collecting cine films about the time, about the town, for the last ten years. Tonight he'll be showing some of them at St Mary's Church. So we thought, what could be better than to put together two of the loudest and most joyous people in South Yorkshire, our reporter, Dan Green, with Dave Cherry. 
<laughs> yeah, good afternoon, Rani. Yeah, we've had to uh, we've had to turn the levels down slightly because I'm always told that I've got a loud voice. Uh, I think Dave's beaten me this afternoon. Well, we're watching some wonderful old footage uh, on Dave's computer. This is going to be shown tonight, as you say, at St Mary's Church in Barnsley. We're currently looking at Summer Lane in 1958, and in just a second, Dave, uh, we're, we're going to hear your Stairfoot Roundabout song, yes. uh, no. which is legendary. Uh, uh, and yeah, Rory loves my songs. <laughs> <laughs> <Loves him. laughs> so we're, we're about to hear the uh, the roundabout song and uh, and see Stairfoot Roundabout in 1960, 1960 which is yes, which is yes. one of the fixtures of the film. Mm-hmm. Now you, uh, as a songwriter, musician, newspaper columnist, playwright, <laughs> novelist, all sorts of things, we can add filmmaker to the oh, list yeah, now Dave yeah, because yeah. you've you've basically you've taken all this footage that people have sent you of mm. times gone by in Barnsley and we're just about to drive down the roundabout I can see <laughs> uh, you've taken all this old footage you've put it together you've set mm. it to music mm. and it's a really nice effect isn't oh, it oh yeah it's wonderful uh, Dan uh, what it is it's people who comes with you know like with the anti Gladys's wedding and <laughs> things like that in 1950 and what it is it's it's the beats you know when the they were so expensive, the old cine films. So it's beats what's left at the end, and oh, there's some crackers. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, look at this. This is 1960 Stairfoot, mm-hmm. uh, the old roundabout before it was built, and uh, oh, it's wonderful. I mean, I mean, I've got a road trip, what I'm sure Ronnie will love, from Walk Green all the way into Sheffield in 1958. It's lovely, wonderful, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, all the old Sheffield buses and. Oh, it's, it's, it's a thing, you know, it's an old-fashioned film, you know. So you're saying some of this stuff people don't really know they've got, it's kind of on the end of stuff, and yeah, 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 on yeah. the end of wedding videos and things yeah. like that, so you, yeah. you're not so interested in the sort of <laughs> stage stuff. Well, I mean, uh, when they see these, when they say, oh, that's me, Auntie Florrie, oh, that's me, Uncle Jack, you know, and but it, it, what, they'll, what they did, Dan, they would use the film up, we, 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 this, I mean, this is a perfect example. Look at this. There, this is Stairfoot Bridge long before the the roundabout was built. Not the word roundabout, you know. So, <laughs> and it's wonderful how things have changed. I mean, I've got some, I've got four hours of films actually. I've, I've four hours of, in a, a private library, and yeah, they are in big demand. You know, the people love them. You know, it's. Um, and why do you think people love this stuff so much? Well, it's nostalgia, isn't it? It's nostalgia. I mean, they love to see the old people, the old fashioned clothes, and. Uh, it's wonderful how the how vibrant Barnsley was and Sheffield. I mean, I've just seen Sheffield on there. There's thousands of people, and they all look thin. Damn, they all look very thin. You know? Why do you think that is? Well, uh, it, it was just after war. I mean, we were all on rations. I'm, uh, I'm sure Ron is listening. He'll tell you. You know, I mean, we were all thin and poor. You know. And <laughs> So that's, that's the image that it paints of Barnsley in the 50s and 60s, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you were an old working-class town. It well, still is, but, you know, but... Um, and I see, you see with that lot there, look at that, that's Stairfoot, and it's, it's amazing when I show these films, they'll say, wow, look at the... You know, and, <laughs> and um, I mean, I'll show you, I'll just stop it, Dan, I'll just show you this, look at this 1951, these... It is absolutely incredible. We're, we're looking at some kind of sports day, aren't yes, we? Yes, this is Bank End, uh, uh, a village on the outskirts of Barnsley. That's uh, ba- Athletics meet in 1951. Now, this damn one on a big 60 millimetre reel, mm. a great big reel, it took some doing. But look at that, look at the colours there. Uh, this Absolutely incredible. Uh, people obviously, people at home can't see this. They'll have to come along tonight yeah. and see it and get their pie and peas as well. But it is incredible. It's it's high quality footage for the day. Isn't uh, this it? is called Barnsley Lass. This film, Ronnie. This is one of my songs, Barnsley Lass. No, oh, no. <laughs> Have you heard it before, <laughs> Ronnie? Oh, I. I've been <laughs> round the roundabout a few That's times. Harold Wilson, the yellow. Harold Wilson here, Ronnie, <laughs> on, on the old uh, <laughs> Prime Minister, 1951. <laughs> it's you know. It's, it's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, you know, just, uh... Are you going to come along and get your pie and peas, Rony? Hey, Rony. It's the most farcical radio I've ever... I'm having to listen to two people looking at some films in Barnsley and pretend I can enjoy them. I say, you'll enjoy this. Uh, uh, the girl from... Uh, I'm rather deaf, as you know. So I do shout. <laughs> we are now, says, oh. <laughs> Yeah. She says, Rony, she says, uh, hey, Dave, she says, uh, what... She says, tonight we're having... Uh, peas and pies. I says, hey, missus, I never swear in the church. So I, she says, I, she says, what do you mean? I says, Dave, I said, there's pies and peas, not what's your peas and kills. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? 
<laughs> well, I, thought, I thought you might have some more questions for Dave. You tell him a joke. Uh, you know what? When I went into Fleur de Lis and bought a double on top. No, no. Uh, I will ask hey. him. Wait, hey? <laughs> Ronnie, what's that? I'm, hey, I, must, I must tell the listeners live. I'm, Dan, I'm one of the few people that's seen Ronnie Robinson singing and playing what, an Appalachian, what you call Auto it? Auto harp. Oh, uh, yeah. he's good and all. He's good. Yeah. He, he, don't you think? Uh, he's, he, he's same. He's a man of many talents. Yeah, you know, that's he's right. Shouting E and B7 and A. <laughs> yes. and, uh, he's wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> well, I take back everything I've said about you, Dave Cherry, then over the years. <laughs> so where, where do you keep these films? Am I imagining them going round and round on some old cinematograph device of some sort or what? I've got them on a... It, it looks like a packet of cigarettes drawn. It little hard drive. That, that right. modern technology for you. And all I do, I just hook it up to the uh, the old laptop, and I've got a great big screen and a big sound system, and away we go. You know, and it's uh, oh, it's like going to the Odeon. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been it's lovely. Popcorn at half time. Popcorn at half time. You know? <laughs> all right, well, I'll leave you there to enjoy the film with Dan Green, Dave Cherry, the great Dave Cherry, on BBC Radio Sheffield. Not for the first time celebrating the Stairfoot Roundabout and all the other Barnsley ones. Wonderful things. Their performance is at St Mary's Church in Barnsley tonight for PM Pie Supper at six o'clock and the film shown at seven o'clock. Social history of Barnsley, including the Queen coming to Barnsley in 1979. You're on BBC Radio Sheffield. Jonathan Brab, what a Barnsley chap And he liked a pint of ale That's why his nose were all as red And his cheeks were all as pale And if I stopped him on the street To pass the time of day In drunken tones as he raised his hat This is what he'd say He backed up but I'm cold me back gum, but I'm cold Me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I am been warm since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed Then I might get greatly warm at last E back gum, but I'm cold Pint at need and his factory lead, for it warmed him up the nose. He want much weight, so one over eight, then one for the road. The parson sneered, I'll drop down dear if I doesn't mend the ways. But Jonathan says, Well, I don't really care, cause it's warm down the earth, they say. Me back gum, but I'm cold Me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I ain't been warm since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed Then I might get really warm at last But e back gum, but I'm cold Finally met his match with the yard of ale they see. So they laid him out with a jug of stout to help warm him on his way. The devil welcomed him Come in. and showed him all oh. his charms. But Jonathan oh. says, Well, if this is hell, it's not right, bloody wine. Mm. Hey, back gum, but I'm cold Me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I am been one since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed Then I might get greatly warm at last Be back gum, but I'm cold But he gum, but I'm cold He back gum, but I'm cold me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I ain't been warm since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed Then I might get greatly warm at last He by gum, but I'm cold He by gum, 
but I'm cold. Levi Gum, Levi Gum, Levi Gum, but I'm cold. Hey, I'm Geoffrey Frozen.